Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations also to the parents, guardians, grandparents, and families of our graduates. The supporting role you play is essential. Graduates, this certainly is a strange and unexpected end to your high school education. And it's also unfortunate we cannot celebrate your graduation right now with a full-blown ceremony at the Leon Center with all your family and friends. Although you may be grateful that you don't have to sit through numerous long speeches. However, I still feel badly that you are missing out on some of the traditional events and rites of passage that go along with graduation. However, I am going to choose to acknowledge your graduating class as one that is unique, one that has had to deal with things that no other graduating class has had to navigate. You have experienced great successes, both individually and collectively. You have experienced the frustration of having COVID-19 interrupt your senior year. And you've had to deal with tragedies. The recent passing of your friend and classmate Brent Hedegar is unfair and heartbreaking. Brent was a kind, thoughtful young man who made everyone around him feel better. Like you, his life was full of promise and it's so sad that it had to end this soon. Hopefully we can take some solace in the fact though that through all of you, his memory will live on. I believe that your experiences will uniquely prepare you to take on a future that right now seems unpredictable and perhaps unsettling. I am confident that we will find our way through this difficult time. And one of the main reasons that I'm confident that we will accomplish this is because of young people like you. Young people who are willing to take on the challenges in new creative ways. Young people who care about everyone in our society and will demand that we find new ways of doing things that promote equality, inclusivity, and kindness. I believe that this global pandemic can be the spark that ignites changes in our society that have been a long time coming. But those changes will only happen if they are fueled by the energy that young people like you have to offer. As I close, I wanna thank all the custodians, educational assistants, office staff, technicians, and teachers that have worked so hard to help you get to this point. In particular, it's important to note that four of our teachers are, in a manner of speaking, graduating as well. The teaching careers of Ms. Miller, Mr. Lalonde, Mr. Tan, and Mr. Guru are coming to an end. They have much to be proud of, as they have had a hand in the education of thousands of students. They have done their job well, and we wish them a long and happy retirement. My career is also coming to an end, and I want you to know that it has been my absolute pleasure to be the principal of Frontenac Secondary School and work with so many caring and committed students and staff. That is all for now, but I do have one final request. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And to paraphrase Kurt Vonnegut, as I've done before, there's only one rule that I know of. You've got to be kind. Thank you and all the best. Graduation is a milestone. While it marks the culmination of your secondary school studies, it is so much more than a diploma. It is a symbolic milestone of moving from childhood to adulthood. The pandemic has our world in crisis, but you, our students, will come out stronger. It is our graduates, our young people, who have demonstrated your resilience and responsibility to lead the way. I know that you will be change makers who will help us move forward in a positive and constructive way leading to great things. This may not be how you expected to end your high school career, but we hope it will still be memorable. I am incredibly proud of you graduates. Today we celebrate your personal successes, your significant commitment to your education, your desire to achieve, your hope for a bright future. Graduates, your schools, your families and I have endless hope for you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020.
I've been asked to capture our high school experience in just 90 seconds. Sounds like a daunting task, and it is. I am grateful for the opportunity to highlight academics, arts, and athletics, the challenges we have overcome, the teachers who have influenced us, and the friends we've made. We remember those we have lost and are all subject to the unexpected traumas that have opened our eyes to the wide world outside of Frontenac. 90 seconds is 7.5 times longer than the first airplane flight taken by the Wright brothers, 45 times longer than the first motion picture, and by 90 seconds into its historic journey in May, the SpaceX Dragon was well on its way to the International Space Station with both astronauts and cargo on board. Visionaries with a specific goal needed fewer than two minutes to change the world, forever. And we have the rest of our lives. Even though none of us imagined that this is how our last year of high school would end, it's the one we got. And nothing is gonna stop us from changing the world. Whether it's proclaiming our support for Black Lives Matter, calling for equality for those who identify as LGBTQ, or adjusting to the new normal that COVID-19 has brought about. We are alive at such an important point in history, and it's up to us to figure out how to make the world a better place. It's up to each one of us to decide whether we are gonna be a part of the problems of society or the solutions. Now is the time to act. I cannot wait to see how each one of you is gonna make the world a better place. Thank you for all the amazing memories and good luck.